What's up, family? Uh, I got a little different one for you <laughs> for, for, for this video. I have a little time, so I, I, I want to start this new segment on the channel. And admittedly, this segment will be a little petty. I think we're going to call this one Trolls. Yeah, it, it's either going to be Trolls or Christians talking to themselves. It will be one or the other, but I want to invite you into this. We're, we're, we're going to have a, a little interesting time. And in this segment, what we're going to do is I'm just going to pick up uh, some people, some of the trolls in my comment who in my comments who've been excessively thirsty for attention. And I'm just going to give them some of the, the attention that they've been asking for. Um, one of the things that they don't seem to realize is I don't read their comments. The moment I realize that you're delusional. I absolutely do not engage because it feels like child abuse at that moment. And I don't want to be abusing children now. So instead, I typically just respond, poor fella, which is how I can find these comments, because now I can just go into my YouTube studio and type in poor fella and see everybody who I've responded that to uh, responded uh, with that to. And so then I can just kind of take that information and figure out, OK, who have I said that to more than others? And they'll be the lucky troll of the week. So today we're, we're going to jump into this. Before we do, like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, consider joining our community either on Patreon, YouTube membership program, or also on Discord. You can also take a look at, uh, check out our merchandise. We have really, really dope merchandise. Okay, so let's jump into this. Let, let me introduce you to our troll of the week. Uh, this is Francisco Torres. 4756. Now, before you say, now, wait a minute, should you be saying their names? It's publicly provided on my comments. And these are people who have engaged over and over again. They've done this to themselves. So, yeah. So, um, as you can see here, Francisco uh, commented on one of my videos. And this is actually an older video. It seems Francisco is just getting around to figuring out who old Durante Lamar is. And so, Francisco uh, commented one day ago, this is the reason why context is key, my friend. And this was the uh, video I did on um, that basically God is the author of confusion uh, or uh, biblical confusion, I think was the thumbnail for this video. He says, you do realize that the Babylonians didn't make the tower to get to know God. This is a, oh my God, like that right there. This is probably why I knew he was delusional from, from the beginning. Just because the tower is called Babel doesn't mean it was created by the Babylonians. He's conflating a few things here, but that, that's okay. You do realize that the Babylonians didn't make the tower to get to know God. That doesn't make any sense because script, scripture is clear on how to do that. There are so many holes I can poke into that, but eh, we'll, we'll keep going. They built the tower so they can be just like him. Okay, that's not me just picking. This This is how this poor fella uh, spelled this. And, and just to be clear, if you look at the screen, right where it says Francisco Torres 4756 one day ago, edited. So he edited this and, and read this and thought this shit made sense. All right, Francisco. Um, they built the tower so they can be just like him. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing what Francisco is trying to say is that they built the tower so that they could become just like God, which would be absolutely ludicrous. This means Francisco never read Genesis chapter one and two and three, because if you read Genesis chapter one, two and three, you know that the man and woman became just like God after they ate the fruit this is why they got kicked out of the eden francisco you need to go back to sunday school my boy and so then he said the last person who tried to do that was lucifer himself francisco please point to the scripture that says lucifer ever tried to be like god what, what are you talking about this guy's just making shit up he also did that because people were being too prideful and disobedient, just like Lucifer. So, yeah, context is key. Now, mindful, the brother used the word context twice and did not provide any. All right. So for those of you who are not familiar with what context is, context is ultimately the where the text is situated, acclimated. What's going on around the text, right? 
So typically, when you're trying to give context into a situation, you would use the text to provide the context. Otherwise, you're just being a pretext. And and poor Francisco. So, okay, so let's just let, let, let's look at the response. And you'll see why I wanted to call this Christians talking to themselves. Uh, because this is not Francisco's first time <laughs> commenting on my stuff. I don't know why the poor fellow tortures him th himself this way. This actually is my first time reading this comment through and through. Uh, as soon as it started out, this is the reason why context is key, my friend. I knew he was a delusional person, so I didn't read anything any further. So you got to be the witnesses to me reading Francisco's foolishness for the first time. All right, so I responded to that as I do once I realize that someone is delusional. Poor fella. And you say, well, Durante, why would you continue to just respond with poor fella? Because it's in my best interest to continue to respond to comments on my YouTube page. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. All right. So I responded to poor fella. He came back. Good morning, bro. I pray you have a great day and that you seek the kingdom of heaven. I pray that anything you have in your heart weathers away that doesn't belong and you pick up the cross and follow the king of kings i just pray that you have losses that you gain and seek the truth and light because god never left you and he loves you and is always period for some reason knocking on your door in the name of jesus amen i responded poor fella he responded let's make talk, small talk <laughs> what do you do for work here's the thing that amazes me about I want to say duplicitousness, but duplicitousness, you got to kind of be smart to, du to be duplicitousness. This is what amazes me about the ignorance of the believers who, who are in my comment, who are in my comments. Most of them believe that they are actually engaged in a conversation with me. It's, it's mind blowing. Most of these responses that, that are just poor fella are automated by bots. <laughs> but this guy, he thinks he's in a conversation. Talk about context, right? Remember, he opened this conversation with this is why context is helpful. And he is clearly not able to, to read the context of the conversation he is attempting to have. So he said, let's make small talk. What do you do for work? My response, you guessed it, poor fella. And he says, YouTube, got it. I respond, poor fella. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I respond, poor fella. God bless. I respond, poor fella. Jesus. Jesus is king. I respond, poor fella. This is, this is how it goes. Oh, I'm going to read this one just because it's nice. Thank you so much for what you do. We need more and more people who look like us to be vocal about our non-belief so more of us can feel comfortable leaving the bondage that is religion. Now, listen, I don't go out of my way to try to ridicule believers. I do not. Actually, I have a lot of respect and a lot of appreciation for people who practice their belief in good faith as a personal belief. Um, I still may not think very highly of your ability to, to engage on certain matters, but I definitely will not go out of my way to ridicule you. I, it is not my intention to, de to dehumanize anyone. However, it is my intention to uh, my intention to sound the alarm about how dangerous these type of religious beliefs are and the type of trauma that is caused to our ability to cognitively and critically engage with the world and with others. So while this segment will be fun and i will do more of these for sure and and i will be very satirical and facetious throughout the most of these very tongue-in-cheek i am doing this to actually put on display what has already been put on this display and that is the willing foolishness of believers who take this shit too far Thank you for joining me for this segment today. I hope I've said something that maybe brought a smile to you today. And Francisco, if you're out there, get the fuck out of my comments, man. You're weird. Everybody else, uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, consider joining the community, community, whether on Patreon or through the YouTube membership program. 
Um, also, consider checking out our merch, consider volunteering, and all that jazz. Until next time, keep rising, stay progressive, and stay beautiful. I'll holler at y'all later.